What's up guys? Another day, another dollar. Today's video topic is hookups versus making love. People don't seem to understand that there's a difference between like sex and making love, you know. Back when I was 16, you know, I made TikToks about this. I learned this from uh, the Hodge twins. So I'm just passing on the wisdom. So when you're fucking, right? When you're hooking up, it's just pounding. You're there to bust a nut, right? You're there to just, you know, do some dirty, nasty things, you know, but you don't give a shit. Like this is this is where you're doing those like disrespectful um, sexual acts to a woman or a man, you know? And, uh, you know, something you would never do to someone you love, you know? I know uh, <clears throat> there was a Reddit thread about this guy who uh, cheated on his wife, not because he wanted to, but because the things that he wanted to do were so disrespectful, he couldn't, like, do it to his wife, you know? Like, he probably wanted to, like, gape her ass and, like, spit in it and, like, fist her and shit, but, like, he was like, I'm not gonna disrespect my wife by fisting her, like, I just love her too much, you know? And I'm not saying fisting is, like, the go-to, you know? It seems like it's a thing that a lot of people do now, um... I don't really understand it, but you're just there. You're just fucking. It's just, there's no stroke speed. You're just pounding that ass relentlessly until you bust. There's no, oh, I want to make this last long. There's no foreplay, really. You just get in there, right? You just wait. You just, you just take your clothes off, right? You spit on your, you spit on your dick. You know what I'm saying? You start stroking it, getting a little wet. Maybe like she spits on it. And then you just thrust in there and just start fucking hard at the same speed the entire time until you bust. And then maybe you like pop a zin after, you know, maybe. And then, and then, you know, maybe you get sucked off. But there's no like emotion behind you. And I think that there's a time and place for both fucking and making love. Like sex and making love. Because like... You know, sometimes you just want to get that quickie in where you're just bust, you just want to bust inside. You know, this is like, like, I'll give you the rundown, right? So you, you, you spit on it, you spit on your penis, right? You stroke it a little bit, you slap it on her face, you slap her around with it a little bit, you slap the tip on, then you put it in her mouth, maybe get a little extra wet, you pull out, right? You put her on her back, right? You're not doing foreplay, you're not doing any of that. You're not like sensually rubbing her or anything. You just slap the tip on her vagina, right? You're slapping it, like knocking on the door, like, brrr, you know, maybe like get the tip a little wet, maybe like stroke the tip on there. And then you just, boom, throw, ah, ah, ah. And then you bust, <clears throat> you know? And then it's quick, it's over. You know, maybe you guys watch a movie and that's it, nothing more to it. Now, <clears throat> you know, now with making love, this is different. <laughs> what you're gonna do, right? This is this is like true love making style, right? There's candles, right? You 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 walk the girl in, right? There's candles all over the bedroom. They're lavender and apple cinnamon scented, right? Candles all over the bedroom with like you know rose petals leading from the front door all the way to the bedroom to find these beautiful candles and there's rose petals all over the bed. This is, you know, this is after the beautiful dinner, candlelit dinner. So like you have wine, steak, you're flirting all night, building that sexual tension right? over this wine. Maybe you're a little buzzed off the wine, you know, you're a little drunk and you know, there's all this sexual tension. It's getting hot in there. It's time, like she's, she's giving you that look. You lead her, you know what I'm saying, into the bedroom covered in rose petals, beautiful, candle lit. You know, once again, I learned this from Hodge Twins, man. But this is like, I don't know, 2016? Anyway, um, so, you know, you pull her in, right? You you do the whole thing where you like grab her like this, you know, you grab, you just grab her chin, you're like, she's, just, she's like, oh, right? You look deeply and sensually into her eyes, right? And then you lightly kiss her, you know? Now maybe y'all are kissing, right? Slowly, slowly, like the pace is going. Maybe you, you know, you may, maybe you're running your hands down, you know, maybe grab her ass lightly. It's all, this is all the buildup. See, the biggest difference is the buildup. Anyway, right, you grab her ass a little bit. Maybe she's, you know, you guys are kissing. Now you're doing some, some now you're stepping it up a little bit, right? You start kissing on her neck, right? Like you feel the breath, you know, and you're kissing on her neck and it's like, ooh, ooh. Ah, 
maybe grab her boobs a little bit, you know. All part of the all part of the pacing and the foreplay, right? Really building that tension, right? Now you're kissing on her neck. Maybe you slowly, slowly start undressing, you know, both of you guys, right? Still very slow. Maybe you start kissing on the body, you know what I mean? Maybe lightly grabbing the legs, you know? It's all very sensual, you know? Slowly lower her onto the bed, still doing some foreplay. You know what I mean? Just kissing, you know, like on the neck, you know, maybe on the boobs um, and vice versa. She's slowly stroking your meat over your jeans. Now the time has come, right? The foreplay is happening. Maybe you've been uh, doing some other stuff. It's time for the sex, you know. You slowly, slowly, right, pull your meat out, right, looking deeply into her eyes, okay? Deeply into her eyes, right? You slowly, slowly just put the tip in, you know, just the tip. As the Hodgman twins used to say back in the day, you just put the tip in, right? And you're looking deeply into her eyes. She's like, ah, ah, ah. And you're like, shh, it's okay, it's okay. Then you give her the full shaft lengthage, you know? You give her the full length of the shaft, deep and slow, deep and slow, you know, pacing, you start slow. It's like, oh, and it's all sensual and shit. The candles and the rose petals are still everywhere. Maybe there's some like the weekend playing, you know, like the, or like some sad, some sad shit, maybe some sex music. I mean, I don't know what your guys' sex playlist is, but you want that sensual, you know, uh, sensual music is playing in the background, right? Y'all are doing the hand thing like this, like the, the hand thing like this, where y'all are clasping hands, right? Slow, deep, slow strokes. Right, and she's like, oh, oh, you're still kissing on her neck, right? You're not, you're not ignoring that. Maybe the booze, <laughs> right? Slow, deep and slow. Now, right, now you start to pick up the pace a little bit, right? Now, ooh, you're going a little, your, your stroke speed's getting a little faster. You're like, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. It's just going a little bit faster, you know? And you're like, oh, she's like, oh, oh. You know, it's, it's, it's like a buildup, you know? It's kind of like the way a dubstep drop works where there's a buildup and then, you know, you get there, and then there's the climax, right? So you're, it's get, it's you're on the buildup, right? You start stroking a little harder. Maybe you're grabbing hands a little more. She's maybe scratching up your back. It's just sensual, romantic. You can smell the lavender and the apple scent in the room. Now, right? <clears throat> this is where you start. You know, you're going a little faster. You're going a little faster, and she's like, "Oh, come on, come on!" Ah, ah. It's not like destruction. It could be destruction. Depends on who you are, you know. But like, it's like now you're going hard. You're like, ah. Ah. Then you pull out, you pull out for a second, you're like, ooh, ooh, cause you're about to nut. Oh, y'all are, y'all are mad. Maybe say I love you, you know, you're saying romantic things instead of like, instead of degrading. And um, and it's like, oh, and then you cuddle after, you know what I'm saying? It's a romantic, you cuddle with the lavender and maybe you watch a rom-com, you know what I'm saying? Versus like smoking a cigarette and calling an Uber. It's love, you know? It's a... Uh, Sex is the most intimate thing you can do somebody with somebody when it's done correctly. And it's about love and connection. And uh, yeah, that's the difference versus like quick pounding, nut, nut on our back, clean it up with a towel, be like, pop us in and be like, hey, uh, your Uber's gonna be here in six minutes. With the, with the love making, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. That's pretty much it. Yeah, man. Um, been working on music. We're almost at 1200 on SoundCloud. Uh, Code Horse Me on the chains, Iron Crew, Code Horse Me, and Code Horse Me on Young LA. Uh, please use my code. I beg of you. Uh, because it helps support me. Um, I don't make money on YouTube or anything. So if you guys want to support the channel, please use my code on Iron Crew and Young LA. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. I hope you learned something that not all sex is the same. You know, there's different types. Um, yeah. All right, guys. I will catch you in the next one. I hope you're having a phenomenal day. Peace.